pandemic, there was one news story in this business, and that was obviously the making of The Mandalorian. That's basically what we're doing here. Same exact technology. We're creating a virtual immersive environment using Unreal Engine, disguised media servers, absent LED floor and, and walls, full camera tracking systems that tracks the content with the talent's movement and the scene. Fort Wall is here at Infocom in support of Absin. We're the first company to implement Absin PL Pro 2.5 tiles in an XR environment. So we came to support them in their foray into that end of the industry. So we have a full scale XR stage going, running disguised media servers with Unreal Engine and PL Pro 2.5 tiles on the wall, the MR 4.8 on the floor. So uh, Disguise is a media server solution. We work in a lot of the industries that utilize video to enhance the audience interaction or engagement. We enjoy working with Epson because of their high quality color and uh, pixel depth of their displays. So disguise as a manufacturer, we try to play, play agnostic as possible, but we do really like to favor the manufacturers that um, have high quality displays because after all, Disguise is a premium product. So. You know, image is everything, uh, so we respect that. With an immersion space like an XR stage, you're getting a lot of the quality from the color, um, the lighting, the shadowing, the reflections that you're, you're actually on a physical LED stage. Um, so you're getting all those benefits that you need to make it more realistic, to kind of trick the eye of you know, your audience to make it more believable, not just for the people at home, but also for the person that's actually standing on the stage so that they can feel more engaged with what they're reacting to. Well, we're trying to also trying to democratize the idea of extended reality for pretty much the masses. So having a off-the-shelf kind of solution that is tried and tested over multiple years, all the learnings that we've done in live events, we're applying that also to virtual production, extended reality, those corporate kind of events. I think this is a great first step for Absin, really establishing itself as the premier company for an XR environment. We've made a big investment in them. They're the tile on our new XR stage at Zero Space in Brooklyn. First volume used in the Absin PL Pro 2.5. There's several other projects in the work. The development of the PL2 Pro was a really long-term concentrated goal by Absin to create a product to use in this environment long before we ever saw the making of The Mandalorian. This was forethought, pre-planned, in development for years. They're getting recognized, they're getting approved by film companies to be used on their productions and TV shows. Absin, as a partner, has been fantastic with their support for us as a company, responding to product developments or changes or anything that we have, concerns or questions. They partner with us as they develop it, which is great, we have input. We spent yesterday going through the product line discussing different aspects of it. And they're also really supportive in that we have a demo space in our Rock Lidditz campus that partners with Tate Towers, Claire Brothers, Atomic Design, and Four Wall. And Absin's been bringing product in there that we can mix with these other vendors and show solutions to touring companies, corporate clients, all in that space.